We're back here with episode two now of the expansion franchise. I know it has been a minute, but the NBA trade deadline is going on. So there's a lot of stuff I need to upload as well. But it was a nice little break and I'm super excited to get back into this building the team around Victor Wembanyama and DJ Wagner. You guys gave me some great comments in episode one. Thank you. And a lot of you guys were saying, Think about playing Wemby at the power forward or the small forward spot. Just because Wemby is a shooter, so him playing at the four would actually open up his game a lot. And I'm going to make him a small forward as his secondary position. So he's going to be our starting power forward next year. I don't know if this means I'm going to move Bol Bol to the center spot. I mean, Bol Bol can also shoot the three as well. He shot 37% from downtown last year. Chris Paul is retiring. So is Al Horford, Kevin Love, Russell Westbrook with the Kings and Gordon Hayward former Vancouver Raven. He did play a little bit for us last year. It's been so long since I recorded the last episode. I was like, wait, yeah, I do have Gordon Hayward on the team. Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook are heading to the Hall of Fame. Uh, Russ gets his jersey retired by the Thunder, Paul by the Clippers, and Draymond, who doesn't make it to the Hall of Fame, gets his jersey retired by the Warriors. We're not adding a 33rd team to the NBA. And it is time for the draft lottery. We have potentially the sixth overall pick from the Milwaukee Bucks. After making the playoffs, we could have they, and this would definitely help us out to try to make a championship run next year because you're like we know our young players are keep like gonna keep developing Wemby's gonna be special next year so is DJ Wagner we're gonna have some cap space if we want to go after like a shooter or just another score to add to this team or like a really good three and D guy I think we can be dangerous next year all right so we can drop from six to eight that would kind of suck and we don't so the Thunder at pick eight Hawks at pick seven. Are we going to stay at pick six or are we going to move up? It's projected to be the Thunder and it is the Thunder. I'm like, wait, I'm just double checking here. We're going to have a top four pick and there's no way we go from six to five. I don't think that would happen. I'm just seeing the Bucks here if there was a protection. The Spurs have the fifth overall pick. So we are in the top four. Wow, we're getting lucky, man. Back in year one when the Kings passed on Wemby for Scoot Henderson. Now, like last year, we had the first overall pick. I took DJ Wagner. And now we're going to have a top two pick that's not even from us. Okay. Yeah, we are building a sick team through this draft. Uh, Vancouver Ravens have the number one overall pick for the second straight season. Oh, my goodness. We had picked two two years ago. One and then one. Wow. Um, that's not even ours. It's from the Milwaukee Bucks. Our pick is at... Um, we wait, we also have Nashville's pick at 20 and our first is at 26. So we have three first round picks. Yeah, the Milwaukee Bucks just got me the number one overall pick in the draft. Wow, wow, wow. So yeah, like DJ Wagner, right? He was the number one overall pick last year. So let's look at the mock drafts again. Let's just kind of refresh ourselves with who's the number one. Stuart Bledsoe, is he the top guy? It looks like it. He's 19 years old, out of Xavier. His ceiling is Adrian Dantley. Yeah. Hall of Fame player for the Utah Jazz. He has a knack for uh, steals. He can create his own shot at the next level. He's a good low post scorer. Won't show me his collegiate stats. That is kind of frustrating. He doesn't look like a great three-point shooter, which is not what we kind of wanted to build around when Benny Yama. So that's a little scary, but he's going to project to be a good defender. It looks like great athleticism as well. A plus potential. Yeah, he's a 77 overall. I feel like we got to take him with the number one overall pick. He's 6'8". Okay, that's actually a good size. I thought that said 6'6 six, six for a second. Is there anybody else that we think about? Gilbert Wade is up here. If we thought about, oh my God, he's an 81 overall. Whoa, he's an 81 overall. That's kind of crazy. 17 and 14 and a half last year at Georgia. Yao Ming's his ceiling. Pau Gasol's his floor. Oh my God. Is he like the perfect guy to put next to Wemby in that front court? Joshua Westbrook is here. I don't think I'm going to look at him, but he's a 78 overall, which isn't too bad. Tracy Higgins is an 81 overall. What? And he's 18. Oh my God. Al Horford stealing Pau Gasol. Okay, man, I don't know who to go with here. Wade Christie's an 81 overall as well. Oh my goodness. Bam is the ceiling. Turner's is for this class is star studded. I'm like, do I trade down? I think I'm going to bring back Jamal Mosley as our head coach for the future. His contract was up. We could go after like a bigger name. We could bring in Tom Thibodeau. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to give Mosley a three-year deal at about $7.75 million. All right. So I have no idea who to take with the number one overall pick. Stuart Bledsoe, I thought made the most sense to start for us at the three, but there are some like six centers that we can get there. Uh, Bull Bull would be a very expensive Sixth man, about $20 million a year. I mean, we could put him at the three if we wanted to. The Orlando Magic have done it before. We already have our point guard. 
Oh man, this is tough. Like I said, I feel like we can't do anything wrong. We could look to trade the pick and trade down. All right, so with the number one pick, oh man, this is a draft where I wish I didn't have the number one pick. I'm leaning towards Stuart Blood, so we do have 18 offers. We can get a 2026 first from the Rockets just to move down two spots. I mean, we could go back to this, and it's from Brooklyn. Okay, that's what I wanted it to be because the Rockets usually develop pretty well in 2K. This is an intriguing offer. Uh, we trade down. We I don't know, though, because, like, Stuart Bledsoe isn't a great shooter, and I wanted shooters around Wemby, but it's not the end of the world if we didn't and we wanted to take Stuart Bledsoe. You know what? I'm going to stick with the number one pick. Yep, we are going to take Stuart Bledsoe. He's the number one by Draft Express, number one by 2K, and number two by NBA.com. He's 6'8", he's 19 years old. He's got A-plus potential. He's an athletic freak. I think that was the right decision. Portland takes Wade Christie, the seven-foot center um, out of Syracuse, the 22-year-old. I wonder when the 18-year-old Higgins goes. So he goes to Houston. That team's going to be sick in the Western Conference. Okay. Uh, Chicago would pick four. They'd take John Lawson. You know what? He could develop into a good player. Definitely 75 overall at the age of 18. Gilbert Wade, the stud out of Georgia. The third 81 overall center to go in this class. It's a loaded center class. Brian Black out of Mississippi State goes here. 77 at age of 19. Wow, this is a really good class. Evan Nichols, 7-1 center. Looks like possibly the worst pick so far. The OKC Thunder. They take Joshua Westbrook out of Hungary. He's a 78 overall at the age of 20. It's a good pick. And to wrap out the top 10, it's Ryan McCarthy to the Orlando Magic. Or there might have been pick nine. That was pick nine. 75 overall, age of 21. Not the best pick. That's probably the worst pick in the first round. Wizards at 10. They take Anthony Newman. Probably the worst pick so far. All right. I want to see if I can move all my remaining picks for pick 13. So it'd be to move up seven spots from 20. I add in 26 and I add in 55. They are not interested in that. We do have a future first from the Suns, but I'm not going to send that back. I mean, does Eric Pascal interest you? I'm sure he does. Can they afford him? Of course you can't. Um, does one second get it done in 2027? Okay. All right. That's fine. We'll move off him. So the Thunder had the 14th pick via the 76ers. Would they be willing to do this? They will. Okay. So we moved up six spots from 20 to 14. And the 11th overall pick, as well as Alexis Samardziski, was traded for Jordan Poole. So the Kings go to get pick 11. They take Grant Murphy, a 6'9 center out of Utah. What are you doing, Sacramento? And I'm going to take Jake Jamison here, a backup point guard. Darren Williams is the ceiling. Henry Bibby, I thought I said Mike Bibby, was his floor. Okay, I think this is going to be a good pick. I like the upside. So this is going to be a class to remember, man. The 2025 draft class. We're going to sign Bledsoe. We're going to sign Jake Jamison. Team player options. Wemby, we're picking that up. Kennedy Chandler, we'll pick that up. Zach Eady, we're going to pick that up. And JJ Taylor, I'm going to decline that $3 million option. Yeah, he was the 32nd overall pick. It's looking like that maybe was uh, not worth it. Qualifying offers. Jordan Walsh. 31st pick. I'd like to extend the qualifying offer too. I think Corey Kispert, um, he's given us three good years. I, I might as well extend the qualifying offer. Santiel Dama, same thing. Just because there's no risk in that. So I do have enough cap space to sign Jason Tatum. So I, I don't think I'm going to sign Jason Tatum, but we look at this team. I like our point guard depth. Um, shooting guard, we can add. Small forward, we can add. So I'm looking to add a wing in this draft and potentially another center. And I like the option of adding Nas Reed, who could shoot the three-point ball. He was, uh, I guess, signed with Utah and then traded to Memphis. And he wants about 13 mil a year. I'm perfectly fine giving that to him. He's 25 years old. I would actually give him uh, about four years. That can go to higher than $50 million, and we'd still have $34 million left over. So I love that addition of Nas Reed to play at that five spot. I think Malcolm Brogdon would be perfect for this team, but he is 32 years old. But you know what? We could go for some veterans, and he's a great defender. He's a great three-point shooter. He's efficient. He could also mentor DJ Wagner as well. So you know what? Let's go out and get Brogdon. It's going to be a three-year deal. $18 million. I think it's going to be fully guaranteed. We'll even give him a player option to entice him to come to Vancouver on the last year. He'll go to the north of $20 million for that player year. And I kind of like both these signings. Nas Reed and Malcolm Brogdon, I think, are perfect pieces to fill around this team. It looks like we have to either renounce the rights on Corey Kispert or Santi Aldama. And I'm going to renounce it on Aldama because we have Bull Bull. We have Wemba Yama. We have a couple guys there. We just signed Nas Reed. Uh, Aldama gave us three solid years. But you know what? Time is done here. Um, I'm going to keep Kispert and Jordan Walsh open. So yeah, we get Reed and Brogdon. I love that free agency class for us. Donovan Mitchell goes to the Clippers. Okay, Jalen Green back to the Rockets. I thought that said Raptors for a second. Pascal Siakam to the Nets. 
Not sure if you guys have seen this before or after the deadline, but yeah, this is not going to happen at the deadline. OG stays in Toronto. Getting Lowry Market in would have been fun as well, but uh, we just don't have the money for that at the moment. I'd have to clear up $14 million, which I'm not going to be able to do. I do want to get another small forward as well. Uh, that could be Lonnie Walker, Tim Hardaway Jr., Wu Dort. With his defensive potential, we couldn't bring back Terrence Davis. You know what? He's been here for the last two years. We could bring in Josh Hart, but he'll, uh, Davis is younger and a little bit cheaper. I'm going to give him a two-year deal, uh, fully guaranteed, about $7 million a year. And then, hey, we're going to have about $9 million left over for next year. Uh, we don't have to renounce starts on Kispert. I'm seeing if we get... Oh, no. I was going to see if we can get Kispert back on the qualifying offer. God damn it. Well, I accidentally renounced his rights to. Okay? I hate that you did that. But you know what? I'd rather give Stuart Bledsoe more minutes. I'm like, I would feel obligated to play Kispert as my game just crashed. Oh, and my game's going to consistently crash. I, I can't do this right now, 2K. Of course, I'm building a team that I love and 2K has to do this to me. Now I'm getting nervous that I'm not gonna be able to get past this. Okay, I even uploaded a scenario, downloaded it, and it's still crashing. You're not gonna do this to me, 2K. Even if I try to control a new team, still crashes. Oh man, this is why, like, <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Guys, I'm getting to the point where I think I may have to give up. I've tried everything. I've tried uploading it, uh, the scenario, resaving it, controlling a different team, simulating straight from free agency, skipping to each one of these, and I still can't get through it. I'm pissed actually. Like I'm actually mad at 2K because this was gonna be such a fun roster. Like I was gonna be able to use Nas Reed for the next couple of seasons. I was gonna be able to use Malcolm Brogdon for the end of his career. We just drafted Stuart Bledsoe. Like I don't even know if I go into practice mode and out of that maybe. I don't know. I'm desperate at this point. So like I don't know. Is this the most gameplay we're gonna get? Is just in practice mode? So this is what Stuart Bledsoe would have looked like. Oh he's number 23. Okay does he have like crazy hops? I would love to see that. Uh so like Nas Reed currently in at the power forward spot let's see he's guarded by brogdon or other free agency signing and he missed that already man zach ed is huge but we have bull bull as well we have like such a tall team uh kicks it over brogdon let's see what he can do all right he misses that three our free agency acquisitions look great uh beasley in transition finds zach ed over to stewart bledsoe oh, i was hoping to get my man in the air i just want to see this guy dunk because apparently he's got like a plus oh my god as I'm saying, he's got like eight plus athleticism. He just posterized Bull Bull. Yeah, 2K, I don't think I'm going to be able to forgive you for this one. As he plays good defense there on Brockton, he picks up the rebound. Oh my God, is this guy about to be like just the next great dunker? Oh my God, he gets to the rim, but he gets stuffed by Bull. Like, I don't know if I go out of a scrimmage and I try to go here to all-star selection. Does it crash? It does. Come on. <laughs> I guess that's going to be the end of the Vancouver Ravens franchise. I'm sure this is what you guys expected to see today. I really do apologize. But I still want to upload this video for you guys so I just don't ghost this series. And hopefully the weird title of me saying probably like, I hate 2K23, you knew something was up. So yeah, I guess this is it for now unless you guys have maybe the secret to fix this glitch. I'll keep trying it day by day, but yeah, so unfortunately this is the end of the Vancouver Ravens franchise. This sucks. I'm really mad at 2K. I could rage right now, but I'm not going to give 2K that win. So yeah, there won't be another franchise series till after the 2023 trade deadline, just because the rosters are going to be shaking up so much. I'm probably going to stay away from the expansion franchises just for now. Who knows? Maybe we do Toronto Raptors if they blow it up and that'll be cool to look into the future with that squad. And there'll be a ton of trade deadline content coming out. And like I said, I wanted to upload this for you guys. So you just like weren't like asking me matt where's the vancouver ravens franchise you haven't posted it you haven't posted it what's up i and then i could just say oh like there was a glitch i couldn't do it anymore like i would like to actually show you guys what happened i sat down thinking i was gonna record a two three hour uh three season part of the ravens franchise so i'm really mad so yeah that's gonna be it for me i'm sorry guys once again if you have any ideas or tips what i could do please let me know down below i love you guys and i'll catch you on the next one peace